and welcome everyone to a Scouts of Entertainment Napoleon Total War 3 8.8 replay to 3v3 on Spain 4C. Now, before we get started, if you'd like to send me through other Napoleon Total War replays or other Total War replays like Rome 2 and Warhammer 2, I am specifically looking for those two in the future. If you guys want to help me out there, that'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, there's also a PayPal option, subscribe star, Patreon, or Streamer Station link if you'd like to support my work, it does help the channel. But if those aren't options for you, Please remember to always smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, tick that bell for notifications, and leave your own thoughts about the battle in the comment section below. And with that, let's get in with the replay. So Pingu is on the red team today. This is a commander based replay, so I can't display the factions on the screen as I would like to. Uh, but on the on the red team we have Pingu, Hukion Kala, and Attila the Hun. Attila the Hun. <laughs> God, Attila the Hun. Ugh, horrible. On the blue team we have Gia Boli Bao. Pierre Franken, Franken Kazuri, so Pierre Frank Zari, and Great Gold on the blue team. We'll obviously try and keep an eye out for their armies when we see them. Looks like we got pretty much an all Rossi our alliance, just by looking at the flag, of course. But um, for the commanders, we have Davidov, Narod, we have Tonasov, Tonasov, sorry, Tonasov, I can't say it, sorry. Okay, we got uh, more Davidov. And I'm just trying to see. Those are the only commanders there. I don't know, here we go. Doc Putrov. Alright, we have three one pointers. Actually, you know, we have five one pointers on the field today. Three are currently controlled by the red team with a fourth on the way. Uh, one of them is definitely in the possession of the blue team here, so the deployments didn't the deployment zones didn't really favour the blue team. Unfortunately for them. But um, looks like we've got some flags here in, in the distance. We've got a French alliance here. So we've got uh, Grande Army. And I don't know. Well, maybe this is, this is a whole alliance, you know. These are all, these are all generals, I think. All Grande Army. Or oh, Armory. Yeah, it is. Alright, guys. So we'll do a small cut here and come back once the factions come into view and begin their first engagements. Oh, here we go. The Rossier Alliance went after the artillery. They're down to 15 men, and they didn't break. This is surprising. They're going after another artillery unit, a 12-pounder set. This is pretty decent sniping right here. They wiped out the entire unit. Because they hadn't unlumbered their artillery pieces. And it looks like the French artillery is sort of stuck. The horses have run away. What's even more interesting is how Russia was able to do this. We had two French cab units so close to the artillery pieces. But they just didn't seem to react at all. To the presence of the um, Mother Rossi players. Or Davidov. And <laughs> he's got his eyes on two more... Is it two more artillery sets or just one? Got one of the French generals here. They're coming in. They want it. Infantry moving in. Okie doke. They destroyed two artillery pieces there. They have one eight pounder left. And it just broke. So the French is really lucky to have any artillery at all at this stage. And it was some decent sniping there from just one cavalry unit from the Rossier team. Okay, the French army is making their way into the town here. All these trees will make cavalry assaults very difficult and it'll be so moving for any army. They might be planning to head to the house, I don't know. But mine the hell out of it. We've got some French artillery coming in, it would seem. Alright guys, looks like we have a cavalry charge here. From the Rossi team, I'm not sure if they're going to go in. They seem committed. Yep, they're going in. Bit risky. Is our elite cat here? Security says. Oh, 
killed almost 20 of them. It was a brave charge. Especially with the army of the French so close to this cavalry. Now, Rossier does not have the troops to... What, what, what's going on here? Looks like we got archers, arrows coming in. Yep, they were arrows. Oh, here we go. We've got skirmishes here against two French units. I think that, yeah, I think two. Yeah. You guys here have lost nine men so far. Four here. Okay, skirmishes have lost seven, eight. Yeah, seven and eight, both sides. Yeah, so right now I think it is safe to say it's about four to one right now. Got a bit of a bonfire. The wind's blowing the smoke to the east. Got a bunch of artillery pieces over here, we have seen. That's a big ass gun right there. There's two of them. Trying to target the general, or is that? Yeah, it looks like they're trying to target one of the French generals. Just need one lucky shot, I suppose. Also, some elite cab in the area. French army should probably move it. The artillery does have a good line of sight on them. It just takes one lucky shot to do some real damage. So we've got a bit of a charge here. The asses on horseback, Rossia C9 Cav. I forget what they're called actually. Kotchev, Kotchev. I'm surprised they're doing so well in combat. I never really see them do well. Running for the hills. Yeah, some Kisare. Kisare? I won't say the rest. Lots of cabs standing by. The uh, Tornasov. Oh, sorry, Tornasov. Army's almost. almost arrived. We have the Dok Turov. Coming in. And I have no idea where the funnel on here is. He's around here somewhere. It's just all over the shop. Maybe he's controlling all the cav. Maybe most of his army is cav. I'm not, not exactly sure. The Tornosov's infantry seem to have driven off the French. French army is falling back. Got some troops here appearing in the at the edge of town now. And he's running back again. The real question is why? Oh, 
two French units here coming to try and take the building. Oh, there we go. They set off one of the lines at least. Really trying to hit the army that far away. Okay, Thomas says we have about 45 minutes left to see a winner. Oh, we're going by a walk to decide the winner. French army's moving up. Uh, looks like we had a Rossier cab unit thinking about charging in, decided against it. We've got two artillery pieces up here. Both six pounders, so four six pounder cannons here pounding away at the French position. We've got four six pounders down here too. Okay, so we have one Grande army heading towards the face of the dock here. And the other army's facing up against it. Torn, Torn us off. Okay, I think, we, yeah, it's been confirmed the blue team has captured their house to the northeast, sorry, northwest. Gotta get my directions right. Don't know why these far units here don't try to um, wheel around, try and push the French back. At the same time, these guys move up. To actually push the French army back through the town. You know? Just sort of chase them away. Alright, you guys, battle is picking up here. Okay, you guys here down five men. Two here, so very small casualties. No casualties there. Five casualties there. French army's not advancing over here. Got more French troops being sent over to this area. That's a large unit right there. Flying back ten miles. Yeah, the French player here is getting pretty aggressive. So we've got another French unit coming around through the town. Oh, they're dead. Portuguese. Some grenadiers, no less. Says they're firing. Most don't have a shot. Oh, 
Our general is under attack. Kansas. Happy Valley there. French Army has a lot of units in play here. It seems like the French alliance here has enough troops to overwhelm the Rossier position. The question is, why do they just hang back like this? Why don't they, why don't they be a bit more aggressive with the flanks? I mean, we've got some French units here not doing anything. They could easily march forward, have a couple peel off and just turn Turn Russia's flank here, fold them up. Go general here. Okay, that unit just exploded. We got some French units here approaching the artillery position. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. That's not good. Now they're gonna fire a scatter shot, I wonder. Okay, they're gonna look to destroy this unit of chasseurs. Here we go. Gonna fire. I don't know what that accomplished. I think the French are gonna bayonet charging. Oh, just got there in the nick of time. Casualties. Again, losses are still on the lighter side here. Exception of that unit, of course. Got some units breaking there. We had some Rossi units that marched all the way over here, but now they're marching back because they're way outnumbered. Now we've got the artillery position that has three units here lined up nice. They're not shooting them. They could be going after a general or an artillery unit behind them. It's a strange choice. Here we go. This is pretty intense fighting. But Rossi's backs do appear to be against the wall here. Let's 
50 men there. Almost 30 there. Okay, 11. Almost lost 40 men. So the French are taking heavy casualties as well. Well, shit, does appear to be faring better over here. Those guys there probably need to move in a little bit closer, I think. I got skirmishes here. Oh, they broke just before they charged into them. Oh, they actually they, they charge in, they need to kill a couple. Nice formation here on the Rossio side. Their troops are far more spread out. It, is, it does seem to be easier for the Rossio line here to get a hit here on the French forces. Rossio's troops are far more spread out, whereas concentration of French troops makes it does sorry it does make it a lot easier to score a hit per volley. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. Also got a big bayonet charge battle here. Also got some Rossi Cav here from Tornasov. And they've broken them. Now they're being harassed from behind. Probably time to move forward. We've got about three units here facing up against what, five or six. Two under threat here. Actually, three under threat from one Rossi unit. The crows are getting hungry. Well, there from the artillery. Just missed, actually. So maybe it's not so good. Okay, France are, f France are falling back. We've got a dead general here. We've got a bunch of units on the run over Our here. Men are running, sir. Maybe a failed cavalry charge. The French are winning over here. Rossiya scrambling in two units. From Dokotrov. Or Dokotrov. Okay, two units just broke there. These ones here are on the verge of breaking themselves. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Okay, there's two generals there. It's been a lucky shot. It's 
So will the French only set off the mines? I wonder. We've got five Rossier units lining themselves up here. From dock. The man of fatigue, sir, must rest a while. So we've got the Rossier commanders winning in one place, losing in another. And this is a bit odd. Pretty decent infantry. But they're winning against seven units. I know that it's a mixture of quality in this line, but still. They're outgunned, but they're not doing as well. Against the Russian troops. Got a cab coming in. Uh, yep. Uh, we lost a couple there, or a few. Seen the collapse of the French forces on this side. Who we got here charging in? 28 I Jaegers. A lot of troops they're killing here at Berg. Yeah, those Russian troops are pretty close. I don't know why they don't just stop and fire into their backs. across the field, I get that, but these guys here should probably really stop on fire. So they still got a bit of ground to cover. Here is shooting at that one over there. One of the one to the left. French units over here making their way towards the capture points. Looking to put Rossier's lead under threat here. But mind the hell out of their points though. Judge. 
Calvary has halted them in their tracks. And buys the infantry here enough time to break them. Got 12 pounders here. Good for the French. Got in there just in time. Grenadiers broke under that. Both these units here could end up breaking each other. Okay, Russia has won the day there. Still got three French units over there. A lot over here. But it looks like they're about to be caught between a rock and a hard place. This is the last section of France forces away from the rest of the army. There is 23 minutes left to decide a winner. So we've got a cap charge coming in. Yep, here we go. It's going to come from square. Folding them up here. This caveat is taking care of business. It's breaking like dominoes. Pull them all the way to the end. That's it. Capture also pursue and destroy, make sure they don't come back. Okay, battle picking up again. We've got four French units over here, and I think seven or so on the other side of the field. Fran the French unit armies here is really outgunned. That's just really spreading themselves out here. No casualties on this side. The cav unit could be doing, a, 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 well, whatever. He's looking for the right words here. If something works, you try it again, right? So they're trying the same maneuver all over again. This unit can form square though, so obviously won't have the same effect. If something works, you know, try it again, that's the expression. The difference is most of these units here can form square. There's only one that can't. It's on the other side. Maybe you should have tried the other thing. Instead of this one. Big hit there, big hit. Oh, He's not many hits there. Now they broke one. Now the cab's coming in specifically to halt their retreat. I was going for a bayonet charge, I would have shot them myself. Okay, it was a great idea to use this as a holding unit. Prevented the French troops from getting away, and now Rossi's just swarmed over all over them, and they're done for. That's it. Last unit here is about to break. Hang on. 
We were two French units over there, but I think maybe they broke and came back. We've taken the building, sir. Taking a building, sir. It's four to five. Sorry, four to one. Not bad. It wasn't that beneficial getting that close. Two trips are right here. Okay, now they're broken. That shouldn't embolden Rossia to move forward, advance forward, and destroy. The two units over there from Rossia coming in, but they're a little ways off yet. Okay, we had four units again. We're also adopting a, a similar formation we saw earlier. This formation really allows the whole army here to really focus their fire into one point. Which does make it easier to get hits. Mass chain right here, but they could form, could reform. Sorry. All right, those two unit, Russian units we saw earlier have finally arrived. But the Russian troops from the tree line haven't advanced at all. So they're moving now for the first time since we last left. This unit here is morale's not that great. So these guys here trying to get themselves organized, firing out. Is that a French artillery piece? I don't know, I don't think it is. That's from their own. We've got the French retreating. Not the French, not the France. Now we got cavalry. This this Tornasov player really likes to deploy the same strategy over and over. Well, you know, to be fair, it has served him very well so far in this fight. But what I think he might be trying to do here is to make sure these guys can't get away by putting this cab into the rear. So if they fall back, they'll run straight to them. It looks like we've got the, all, all the Russian army here moving forwards. Five minutes left on the clock. Those three units up here need to move forward now. Yeah, right on cue, they're moving forward. Have units in danger of breaking now.
There's no point running away. It should just be done. Make a good last stand and leave it at that. That's exactly what we've done. But they're forming square though. Probably because, oh, they don't really have a choice. The cab's right there. Alright, they're broken. And that's it, guys. We've got 3 minutes and 50 seconds left, but there's only one here. French unit left and they're occupying a house right now and there's no one in the immediate vicinity. So probably just gonna skip it to the end there and declare a lock victory, four to one. To the Rossier Alliance. The man of fatigue. Okay, congratulations to Pingu, Hokio on cover, and Attila the Hunt on their victory. Pingu getting 3170 kills. Hook How Kion Kala got three five hundred and eighty five. Attila the Hun 1086, Gia Bialio Bal 765, Pick Frankenzari 1061, and Great Gold on 716. So, best performances were the Jaeger Brisk Brinsk on 376, another Brinsk unit 155, the uh, six pounder Attila 103, uh, Carl Old Kep. 136. The Kasari Mabrosia, 551 kills. That's one of the best kill counts I've seen for a unit. They got uh, Tambrov, 157. Another Tambrov unit, 222. Jaegers, 151, 135. Abram Rekel, I think 204. And Pekhata. All three units there, 119, 132, 143, and actually fourth unit, 194. So awesome kill counts for Pingu all around there. Thank you to Pingu, of course, for sending in the replay. This is Scouts of Entertainment signing off. Catch you guys in the next one.